Hello, you are watching E! News Bulletin of IPR Department with me, Chiring Eden. Let's look at the top stories making headlines. On Saturday, Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang launched a program of Plastic Waste Awareness Week organized by State Pollution Control Board at Sabman Bhavan. He was accompanied by Ministers Kungani Malepcha, Sonam Lama, Karma Lodi Bhutia and MLAs Bishnu Kumar Sharma and Sonam Chiring Venchungpa. The Chief Minister said that environmental conservation is of paramount importance and must gain precedence over business interests. He said that the government is taking steps to ensure environment-friendly development and that plastic waste awareness is necessary for both urban as well as rural people. The Plastic Waste Awareness Week will be observed throughout the state from 6th of March to 12th of March 2022, with the main objective of creating awareness of the health hazards of plastics among the public and the need to properly dispose of plastic waste. Speaking about the recent ban on the packaged drinking water bottles of 2 litres and below, the Chief Minister stated that the state government would support entrepreneurs for setting up of units that produce drinking water in glass bottles, which can be reused like beer bottles. During the program, he virtually inaugurated the continuous ambient air quality monitoring station set up by the State Pollution Control Board at Zero Point and MG Mark Gangtok and felicitated volunteers who are engaged in single-use plastic assessment. After Amma Yojana, the Sikkim government has come up with more schemes to promote women empowerment in the state. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang announced the launch of the state government's flagship Bahini scheme at a function held at Mali on Friday. The scheme aims to provide free sanitary paths to all female students studying in class 9 and above in Sikkim, which accounts to over 18,000 students at 210 secondary and senior secondary schools. The state government plans to establish a sanitary pad vending machines in the schools and also increase awareness and sensitization through programs about menstrual health and hygiene. The Bahini scheme aims to reduce the girls' students' dropout rates from schools due to inaccessibility to sanitary napkins. With this, Sikkim is touted to be the first state in the country to do so. Similarly, the Chief Minister also announced a scheme for all women labour workers who are registered with the Labour Department, Government of Sikkim. The scheme covers medical insurance, medical facility and necessary cash incentives. Former MP and literary figure Bhim Dahal passed away on Saturday night following renal failure. He was 68 years old and undergoing treatment at SCNM Hospital here for a long time. Dahal, also a senior SDF leader from Timberbung, West Sikkim, served as a Lok Sabha MP of Sikkim from 1996 till 2004. He was the chief spokesperson for SDF for several years. He had authored a number of books and got the Sahitya Academy in 2006 for his Nepali novel, Droha. In his condolence message, Governor Ganga Prasad expresses deep sadness while mourning the passing away of Bhimdan. He extended his heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family. Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang has also deeply mourned the demise of the political and literary stalwart. His funeral will be held on Tuesday at his native village in Timberbung, West Sikkim. Out of the 26 Sikkimese students studying in Ukraine, 25 had safely reached India and with the last remaining one landing at Pakyong Airport today, the evacuation of students from Ukraine have now successfully completed. The last batch to arrive on Saturday had three students. Upon their arrival at Pakyong Airport, they were received by state government officials and their families. The students and their parents expressed their gratitude towards the state government for felicitating their safe return to home from crisis hit Ukraine. Since day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the state government has been monitoring the situation in coordination with the Ministry of External Affairs Government of India. A WhatsApp group was also created and all the needs of the students were taken care of. Of course, the students had to make the difficult journey to the border countries themselves and have had to go through the most trying times. In other news, Shane Warne, Australian cricket legend who helped his nation win the World Cup in 1999 and was part of the five Ashes winning teams during his career, died aged 52 on Friday. It was reported that Warne died in Koh Samui, Thailand after having suffered a major heart attack. 
Wan was arguably the greatest leg spinner of all time with a tally of 708 test match wickets. Wan was named as one of Wisden's five cricketers of the century for his unparalleled achievements in a 15-year career between 1992 and 2007. After retiring from international cricket, he added to his legend by doubling up as captain and coach of IPL team Rajasthan Royals' remarkable title triumph in the event's inaugural edition. He was immensely popular in India. A flamboyant personality both on and off the field, Warren also found success as a commentator and was considered among the sharpest analysts of the game. With his passing, the cricketing world has certainly lost a legend. That's all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page. That is the Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Thank you for tuning in.